All right, let's talk about Ahsoka's armbands or her arm sleeves. They have a lot of details in them. So the first detail is they have three diamonds up here at the top. The diamonds appear to get slightly smaller. Uh, it's hard to tell, but to me, they look like they get slightly smaller. And all three diamonds are above her elbow. So the next part is the basket woven strips. So, from, but from what I can tell, there's probably about 10 to 12 strips down one side, which would be a total of about 20 to 24 strips. They are just basket woven together, so crisscross like that, one over the other. And then the final detail that I noticed is on the inside. She appears to have a black piece of fabric that these crisscross strips do not go onto, so my guess is it is probably a type of black spandex to make these more comfortable to wear and to give them a little bit of stretch. And then the other thing is, is right here on the outside part of her inner wrist, there is actually a zipper. So I don't know how long that zipper is, but I would assume it probably comes up to about your mid arm so that you can easily get your hand in and out of something that is very tight fitting around the wrist. Pardon my dog barking at my dad. My dad's currently putting up Christmas lights. So that is what I noticed. So let's talk a little bit about the fabric. So from what I can tell of the fabric, the fabric appears to be a charcoal, heather gray color. And then from what I can tell, the strips on top are probably either the same fabric or similar fabric to wow. this underneath piece. All right, so a little bit more about these diamonds. These diamonds are not created through fabric manipulation. They're not fabric that's been folded or twisted or any way. Because you can tell that because these diamond edges do not line up with the edges of the fabric strips. So what that tells me is that these diamonds were put in after the strips were added and cut into the strips. So I'm just going to make an overall pattern that is going to be the width of my bicep up here and then the width of my wrist down here plus seam allowance don't forget to add your seam allowance and then when i cut this out of my gray fabric i am going to subtract a couple of inches for what i want the length of the black spandex to be and the way I'm going to measure the black spandex is it appears to be the inside of her arm. So it's not quite half. It doesn't quite line up on halfway. It's a little on the inside. So I'm going to measure the inside of my arm here and then the inside of my bicep and then subtract that measurement from here for my gray fabric. And then I'm going to cut out my strips, uh, hem them because you can tell in the promo picture in the promo poster that they released you can tell that these strips do actually have a hem on them and then pin them onto my base piece so then i'm going to sew down the two sides so that the strips will stay in place and then i'm going to trim my base piece and fold over the top of my strips and hand stitch them down because there is no noticeable finishing seam on the top. So what that says is they are finished to the inside layer and that stitching does not come through to the outside layer. I would assume the same thing with the wrist, but the wrist is hard to tell because she does have her bracers, but I'm going to do the same thing with the wrist. And then once I have both of those finished, I am going to put the diamonds in and the way I'm going to do the diamonds is I'm going to cut the diamonds from the wrong side. I'm going to cut the diamonds from the inside on the base fabric and then cut through 
these strips and cut out anything that's going to be underneath it so I only have one layer folded over and then hand stitch that down as well. And then once that is all done, I am going to sew my black spandex on. So here is the fabric I am going to be using. It's got a nice weight to it. I believe it is some kind of wool twill fabric. I don't quite remember. So this is going to be the fabric that I'm going to use for my base as well as my strips. So for my strips, I think what I'm going to do is just cut out two inch strips, put a small hem on them, and however wide they end up is however wide I'm going to use. So here is my pattern and then this is cut out with seam allowance and a little bit on the edges just to make sure it's going to be long enough. And then I marked the length of the black spandex fabric and then divided that across the edges. So my wrist is going to be two inches so I cut one inch off of each side so that I could get my pattern for the gray fabric. So now I'm going to cut out my strips. Alright, so I have my strips cut. So they're just two inches. So now I am going to put a small hem on them just so that these raw edges are taken care of. I got these all sewn. So I did use black thread to hem these and that's just because I was lazy and didn't want to switch to gray thread. Um, I think personally gray thread would probably look a little bit better but oh well, it looks just fine. Alright, so now it's time to piece these onto here. So what I am going to do is just start at these two top corners and get those two pieces on and then just work my way down one side and then down the other side and then come back and do these ones up here. those ones on and that actually took up two strips so now so this is what I have left from those two strips so now I'm just gonna go in and do the other side This is what I have left from those four strips. Okay, so now that I am happy with this and I made sure all of my edges are looking good and all of my weaving is good, I am going to go and stitch these edges here. I am going to use a zigzag stitch just to help with any possible fraying. So now what I am going to do is I am going to trim about a quarter of an inch or a half inch off the top. Uh, this is the selvage edge up here and the selvage edge is pretty, 
it falls apart pretty easily so I'm basically just going to trim off the selvage and then I am going to fold the strips over and hand stitch them down. whip stitch down it's not the prettiest but it'll do so that's what it looks like from the front so now the next step is to put in the diamonds so like I said she does have three diamonds and I'm going to mark them from the back because this will be easier to mark and to cut than the front so here is my first one so I will be referencing this to make sure that I get these lined up so that they are close and I am go just going to put them directly in the middle and I did try to make them slightly smaller as I went down but don't know how successful that is <laughs> all right so let's mark these out I'm just going to make sure I'm only cutting this inside layer and then just cut a little slit and just go to all four points so this is what they look like from the front and on the back I just whip stitch them down so now the next step is to put in the spandex strip. So here is my spandex strip. I'm not entirely sure like specifically what this is because this was a remnant that I got from Walmart. All I know is that it's a nice thick matte black spandex. So I am going to pin it in and when I pin it in I am going to make sure that this is within my seam allowance so I'm probably going to pin it in like that so then I don't have to worry about ripping this out and I can just cut it away. I am going to go and fold over this edge and finish it off with a zigzag stitch real quick and then pin it in and sew it. Alright so I have that all sewn in and I did use a zigzag stitch so that the spandex would still have some stretch so now I am just trimming up that seam allowance another reason I didn't rip that out is because I'm just going to cut it off <laughs> and then another thing is my spandex did stretch when I sewed it when I pinned it these did line up but when I sewed it my spandex got a little stretched out so that was another reason that I did not finish the wrist is because I wasn't sure how well the spandex was going to line up because the spandex stretches pretty pretty decently but this fabric does not. So now I am going to trim up my seam allowance and then finish the wrist. So now what I'm going to do first is try this on and measure how and measure where I need to cut the wrist because I did add a little bit to make sure that it would be long enough. Okay, so I tried it on, and as you can see, I did take in the wrist a little bit, just so it fit a bit better. And then I did mark, it's a little hard to see, but I did mark where I need to cut it so that it sits right at my wrist, and I need to cut off about an inch and a half. So I'm actually probably going to cut off an inch and then fold it over and stitch it down so that I have a nice clean edge. So first, I'm going to trim up this extra seam allowance that I put in. Alright, so here it is all finished. 
there's the black spandex i finished off this edge and there it is it fits very nicely it is a little looser than i would like so i might take this in a little bit more but it does fit very nicely uh, because it's so thick it does stay up on its own pretty well it does slide down just because of the nature of the garment but yeah so i'm gonna try it on and show you guys all right so here they are this one i still have to fix the wrist i haven't trimmed it yet but here this one is all completed this one is fitting a little tighter than this one is so therefore it's staying up a little bit better so i think i am going to go in and tighten this one a little bit but they are fitting very nicely and i am very happy with how they came out so i hope you guys find this useful and i hope it helps you with making your own ahsoka tano mandalorian cosplay so that that'll be it for this video please let me know if you have any questions i am more than happy to answer them leave them in the comments below and i will see you guys next time bye